Well, here I am, all the way back from ancient Jerusalem. What a journey it was. And I had to travel in time, which is no mean feat. Well, I've been up this morning walking my dog. It's good to get out 30 minutes of exercise each day. But remember, following the guidelines. Okay? Well, my dog's a border collie. And he's really, really, really mad. He needs loads of exercise. So I'm a bit tired, to be honest. I've got still dressed up. But when I was out walking, I thought about a story about two people who went on a walk all the way from Jerusalem to Emmaus just after Jesus died. Well, in the Bible, it tells us they were followers of Jesus. It doesn't tell us much else. We know that one of them was called Cleopas. And most people believe the other one was actually his wife called Mary. She was there when Jesus died on the cross. And also, she went to the tomb with Mary Magdalene to visit Jesus that morning that he rose from the grave. Anyway, it doesn't matter really who it was. It's the journey that was really important. Because they were on their way from Jerusalem, as I said, to Emmaus, which is about seven miles outside of Jerusalem. And most people think they were on their way home. Maybe they were discussing all the way back about the things that had happened. They were chatting about the things that went on because, as we said, they were followers of Jesus. On the journey, a stranger joined them. Now, the Bible tells us this stranger was Jesus, but they didn't recognise him. So they walked along talking to this stranger, discussing everything that had happened, discussing all the things that had happened with Jesus dying on the cross and maybe the reports that Jesus possibly had raised from the grave. And then this stranger suddenly started to tell them the truth about everything. You see, they were kind of missing the point in all their conversations. And he suddenly stepped in and he started telling them what is said in the Old Testament. Now, the Old Testament is the beginning bit of the Bible. And he started telling them what Moses had written and what the prophets had written all about how Jesus was going to die and how he was going to come back to life. All the way, he explained this to them until it got quite dark and they reached Emmaus. He was going to carry on with his journey, but they encouraged him and asked him to come and spend the night with them and maybe share a meal with them. They went to their house and there they sat down together to have a meal. Still not recognising that it was Jesus. Well, during the meal, this stranger gets up and he takes some bread and he breaks it. Just like he did in the Last Supper. If you remember, when we started the whole Easter story, we talk about Jesus having his last meal with his disciples and he broke the bread and they recognised that it was going to be his body that was broken for them. Well, he did the same with his two followers in that room in Emmaus. He broke the bread and the Bible says the minute he broke the bread, they recognised that it was Jesus. It's like their eyes were opened. Now, that doesn't mean they were walking with their eyes closed. What it means was they realised who the stranger was. In fact, they said to each other that when they walked together on the journey, that they were kind of warm inside. They felt like they, they were walking with a friend, even though he was a stranger and they didn't know him. Well, the moment they recognised who Jesus was, he disappeared. They got up and got themselves ready. And within the hour, they ran back to Jerusalem. As quickly as they could. You can imagine their journey from Jerusalem to Emmaus was very slow and very sad. Their journey from Emmaus back to Jerusalem must have been like Usain Bolt. They were flying. They wanted to tell the disciples what they had seen. These two followers of Jesus had seen Jesus come back to life and they wanted to tell the disciples about it. They burst in the room and started telling them that Jesus had come back to life. What an amazing story. We've already spoken about Jesus stopping in the garden, telling Mary Magdalene that he was alive. And now we've got him stopping with his two followers, eating a meal with them and showing who he was, showing that he was really alive. Do you know, that journey before they were joined with a stranger from Jerusalem to Emmaus, must have been quite a lonely journey. I know they were together, but it must have felt quite lonely knowing that Jesus, this person who they, they loved and they followed and they listened to, was no longer with them. And yet, when they were joined with a stranger, some, in some way, they felt a bit warm inside, a bit comforted. 
At the moment, a lot of people are feeling quite alone. A lot of people are feeling lonely. Because of everything we've been asked to do, because of all the social isolation and self-isolation, we're feeling a little bit lonely at times. Maybe because we can't go to school, because we can't go out and play on, on the streets with our friends and everything. All we're doing is contacting them via um, social media and everything. We get a little bit lonely, just like these two followers of Jesus were. And yet, at that point, a stranger comes alongside and walks to them and talks to them. And in the end, reveals that it was actually Jesus all along, the person that they were missing. And you know, even at this moment, when we're feeling quite lonely, we can feel Jesus walking alongside us. God is still there for us. Even when we feel like there's no hope, God can still be there for us. I want to tell you this morning that there is hope. This will end. Everything will be okay. But more than that, God can tell us this morning and Jesus can tell us this morning that everything is going to be okay. Just as he did with those followers when he broke the bread and they realised it was him and all the time they were missing him he'd been with them all along we can feel like that as well this morning that moment when we miss things the most and we miss our loved ones and we miss our families all the time Jesus is there walking with us telling us that he's there with us all along okay fantastic so stay safe remember be friends with everyone Look after each other, care for each other, give mums and dads a big hug in the morning because they need it, and then mums and dads give kids a big hug as well because they need it too, obviously. Okay, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye! <laughs>